everyone, back to the more YouTube channel. It's Chris back with my rant stroke thought of the day. Oh boy, oh boy, things are getting dodgy for old Gardener Dan in the garden, aren't they? The latest news has come out and it's painted Dan Ashworth to, to be the absolute snivelling weasel shithouse that he really is. If you haven't seen this news already, this is spectacular. Just before I get into this news, I'm going to try and regale you with the, the definition of what gardening leave means. I'm sure by the wonder of the internet, Mark will pull up over my head and then I'll get it wrong. Um, but basically, gardening leave is designed for you to effectively be off work on full pay thus to not share any information confidentially from your old employer to your new employer, as well as obviously, you know, going after clients, etc., etc. Now, Dan Ashworth, and it would appear Omar Barada, um, don't appear to understand that going into Manchester United. And I think that really is indicative of the complete twat that is Sir Jim Twatcliffe that they're going to work for. These motherfuckers couldn't lie in bed straight. So the story goes now, it's almost comical, really. So the Cassie United have been digging their heels and waiting for compensation for Dan Ashworth from Manchester United, who once again are trying to do it on the fucking cheap. This guy's like Boise just without the crack and the cottony laugh. So this is what they're doing. We're waiting for the money for Manchester United. And now this news has come out and this makes Manchester United's negotiating look weak as piss it really does but it also makes dan ashworth look like an absolute twat i nearly said the c-bomb that i was tempted to so what dan ashworth did was he stupidly foolishly sent an email to his own newcastle united email address basically indicating that omar barada was tapping him up um and this is why this stupid twat was on Gordon and Lee from Manchester City. Now, not only did he make a complete fuck up with that, no one find well that his emails, or should he know and find well that his emails, would have been passed to somebody else in Newcastle United when he decided he didn't want to be here anymore and see that email. Not only did he do that, Barada has also breached the Garden and Leave rules from Manchester City. I'm sure won't take that lightly either, especially as he's going to work for one of their biggest rivals in terms of, you know, the Derby in Manchester, all that stuff. But... This is just shocking, really, by Dan Ashworth. It really, really is. Not only did he do this, he also shared the employment details and the agreement between Newcastle and Brighton in an email. And then that's also been, obviously, looked at by Newcastle United. And that breaches the confidentiality act between Newcastle and Brighton as well in terms of Dan Ashworth. This is a major legal fuck-up. I mean, I don't know how Sir Jim Twatcliffe's going to pay for this legal fee. He can't even build a new fucking stadium. He's trying to get the government to pay for that. He's in serious shit here, as is Dan Ashworth, as is Barada. It also makes no negotiating strength in Manchester United's favour here for Newcastle United. They, by rights, could dig their heel in for the full amount here or even, you know, threaten legal action against Manchester United and, and obviously Barada as well individually. Uh, I think Man City will take them to the fucking cleaners as well. So this is just comical. This, this is all these pricks having too high an opinion of themselves, thinking that garden and leave and the rules of employment don't apply to them because they're some kind of fucking superstar. Well, I'm sorry, guys, it does. And if you are going to play the game like people do in garden and leave, let's not be fucking stupid here. People do this in garden and leave. Of course they do. They just don't make sure that they don't get fucking logged for it but these stupid twats have just done it blatantly and Dan Ashworth to send that to your own Newcastle United email you deserve any you know um, consequences that come your way for that for being a fucking thick twat to be brutally honest with you but it just paints up Dan Ashworth for the kind of weasel that he is really I mean you know this was a long time ago when he was in position he was supposed to be doing things for Newcastle and he's already looking you know for an exit route and trying to get out and wanting the Manchester United job you know I've seen people put two and two together maybe they're making six I don't know but they're talking about the one man who stopped Joe Linton signing his new contract was Dan Ashworth and people are now questioning was that you know a bit to try and get him to go to Manchester United in the summer you know try and get him there as one of the star signings to sort that midfield out who knows you can't trust the word Dan Ashworth says no you really can't I know that sounds slanderous but based on everything that we've seen here he looks like a real distrust and you know dishonest prick of a bloke really to do this kind of a thing and they'd be rumbled for it too as does Barada and I hope that the two of them get battered for it I really really do I hope City Brighton and Newcastle really go at a lot of these and they make Manchester United pay top whack for Dan Ashworth for starters but also they take them to the cleaners legally as well because guys like this shouldn't be allowed to get away with stuff like this they're floating the rules they just make it up as they go along think they're going to get away with it there's some kind of hot shots I'm sorry the rules apply to you same as they apply to us the normal people so fucking follow the rules 
or you're going to get done over. That's my opinion on that. Let us know in the comments below what you guys think about it. It is quite comical from our point of view. Uh, I can't wait till we get our sporting director and then go and sign all the players that Dan Ashworth was lining up for Manchester United. It'll be mint. At least say uh, you name it. Bring them on. We'll sign them all. Um, let's do it. Let's go for it. It's going to be a busy summer for Newcastle United. But let us know in the comments below what you guys think about this ridiculous notion and action from Dan Ashworth you know, and Manchester United. It's just the saga that continues on and on. It's getting longer than the Mbappe saga, this thing. But we'd love to hear from you. Smash a comment in. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. Help the channel grow membership options there if you fancy early access to rants like this have a cracking summer we'll be back with some content if on and off we'll look at the lads in the euros as well why didn't he take nick pope i've got no idea my god traffic is crap but thanks for watching guys have a great day we'll see you later cheers hey.